G'day traders, this is again part three, I do believe, of a four part uh, individual share analysis update. What I'll do is just take a look at these next particular shares. There are a couple of repeats, so I'm gonna skip Berkshire Hathaway. We addressed that in the first video. Going to begin here with Delta Airlines and just make our way down this list. We'll finish with T TJX. Uh, and we'll call it a day in the way of this analysis and individual trade analysis. So what I'll do anyway, we'll start with DAL. Uh, what is actually occurring is that we're breaking out and as you can see, we're just playing around all of these exponentials. We can see that we're holding the 10, we're holding the 20 and we're holding the 50. So these two triggers in green, I like and I like very much, especially after Friday's candlestick, when we really establish that upper wick on the candle. You can see that there is selling pressure and it's just coming in with all of these intraday highs established over and throughout the period of March. This 34.85 entry is really, really good. 31.43 entry, you can see the targets. Trade it wisely. Ford Motor Company. Here's two entries that we had in Ford. Two bearish. Uh, one was riskier. This was the 15.31. The ultimate entry was down here at $14.96. So I'm going to get rid of this one and talk about what is actually setting up. Now we could be setting up what we call a Bollinger Band squeeze and really that's where the trade needs to be. So I can simply put an entry here, $15.84, $14.96. Be careful of earnings, it is just around the corner. Here's Goodyear Tire Company. Now Goodyear is trading very, very close to the primary bullish trend. That is why we do not have a bearish setup. I am going to add one in now and it's going to simply go down here about $24.52. I'd like to see a close and a continuation below that trigger before I get into those put contracts trading on down to about $23 a share. So very interesting times for good year. Uh, here's one that we had about two weeks ago. This is Hewlett Packard. Initial entry, $30.85. We're up here at a resistance level. This gives us nice structure to continue with the trend directional trade. So if we break above this level right about here at $33.17. Next target is $34.20. 20 cents. So it's a quick $1 move up to the next resistance level and the next continue, or at least part on the chart where we'll slow down and consolidate before we get again the next continuation higher. LVS, nice little breakdown. I think. Uh, yeah, I did actually talk about this in a previous video. 79 down to 77. It was a quick like $2 and $30 move over the space of three days. So a really nice trend trade, or sorry, a nice little swing trade. What I can do is set this up again. If we move below, uh, that shouldn't have just did what it did. I'm gonna delete that. There we go. If we move below about $74.54, it'd be a very quick move down to $71. So that's a really tempting sh uh, trade. On the way of a bullish trade setup, I'm going to, actually I'll leave this here because that is a really good trade that we did do. I'm gonna move this up to about mm, $82.96 a share. That's a really good breakout and would just be oscillating back up to these old resistance levels right around $88 a share. So that's the basic trade setup on LVS. Uh, moving on, NSC. NSC is breaking out again, just playing around with those exponentials if I flick to the chart. Uh, really simple trade setup again. If we move above about $98 a share, then it's a good continuation trigger. If we break down below, let me just get this into perspective. If we break down below about 92, there is an open window, so I don't even like that. It has to go down about here, about 91, 97. Then we've got the potential to trade lower. It's not there yet, but it can definitely set up. Here's Oracle. Now Oracle's still making a series of higher highs uh, and higher lows. It is at a potential double top turning area, or at least what we call a pivot point. So above 40.12 looks good, and below 37 also looks really, really good in the way of trade opportunities. So what we'll do, we'll move on to TJX. Now TJX is starting to break down below our bearish trigger. Friday we did get a little bit of a pop, but that's okay, that's expected. We do have a lot of overhead resistance, which was established during the month of March. So there is a lot of overhead um, resistance that we need to overcome on TJX and also that 100 as well uh, before, again, we can get carried away um, on that individual trade. So uh, it looks good. We do have lows and what was most appealing about this trade was that we had a target all the way down here at about $56 um, you know, a share. And when we put that into perspective with our risk, which is really up here, when we really only have a dollar of, of, pardon me, a dollar of risk to make about uh, $4 of profit, you know, that's a really good four to one risk reward ratio. And there's no reason why you wouldn't have jumped into this trade. So TJX does look good also. Thanks a lot for watching these individual market updates. Please leave a comment or if you want any individual company analyzed, just put it in the comment box and I'll do it for you. 
All right. Enjoy your trading week, everyone. I hope it's profitable. Um, and I'll see you during the week. In the sorry, I'll see you during the week for midweek market updates. All the best, everybody. Goodbye.